there's not actually many missions left in, in this game. The enemy GHQ is located beneath a landfill on the coast of their capital, Farhani. Bring it under control to end this war once and for all. Our troops will enter via the Silver Bridge to the southeast and the Flooded City to the south. You must attack all enemy forces and support our troops. So, if you watch the me playing S Combat 7, destroy Johnson Memorial same town to stop them from joining forces from the enemy GHQ. We know that Megalith is being developed as we speak. The enemy must be prevented from using it as their last ditch effort. So we have a Suhoi 30, 37 and uh, this uh, F-15 active. Well, almost same. So let's let's try this. Since we like fuel air explosives, let's let's use use them. This actually took some time for for me. The outcome of the war rests on you, so stay focused on what's at hand. Remember, survival is paramount. Good luck to you all, and Mobius One. An end to the war would be a nice birthday gift as well. Mobius One, engage. Destroyed. We lost contact with Bolo 4! 
Tanks are popping up from somewhere. Submarine. Could actually go and uh, rearm at this point. Because this is pretty far. The pretty, pretty fast fighter. We can zoom past from the other end of the map to another. for take Vector 3. 
too. Tank destroyed. Seem pretty clean. Okay, similar plane that I'm flying. Heads up, enemy radar spike. Warning, inbound missile. We are pretty bloodthirsty to today. So choppers are Chop choppers are dead. Okay. Approaching contact point. Stay alert. Everyone is shouting. Hard enemy radar spike. Enemy is one. Missile. Missile. This is bad. We're surrounded. Break. Missile. Obvious one. Box two. Ah, uh, they are hanging in the air. 
basically. Okay, missed. Sometimes it feels my missiles are pretty trash. Time to re uh, rearm and repair. Seventy six percent damage, so I can take another missile. And they are <laughs> shooting a lot, lot of, lot, lot of them to, towards me. Basically, Fox One, Fox One. Huge amount of missiles. Fox one, Fox one. That's a kill. Great job. There are no aircraft remaining on radar. Yeah, that's that's happen when it happens when you let the enemy to reload and come to shoot back the missiles. Mobius one shot down the five aircraft that appeared. Air superiority is ours. But this is isn't the last missile you made it mission. Alive, Mobius one. On September 19th at 1200 hours, Eurusia accepted the ISAF terms for surrender. Our victory came at an extremely high cost in casualties.
Yellow 13's body vanished into the blue skies, never to return to Earth. Only a single handkerchief fluttered down from the sky where he disappeared. Oh. The faint scent of perfume. Still. The barkeep's daughter and I had followed the squadron this far. Each of us had our own thoughts as we buried that handkerchief. It no longer mattered to me whether that was 13 or 4's grave. Their memories blurred together as one and left the realm of reality like a dream. The terms of surrender were accepted that day and the war was over. Wait, well, if we shot down uh, 13 at Farbanti, but this kid was living in uh, San Saloncio. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Megalith. This is actually carry over from the from the three uh, other other Ace Combat games, one, one, two, and three. So. Two, two, or three. I, I don't know. The super weapon that was under development. Megalith is a rocket launch facility that can shoot down asteroid fragments in orbit. The only way to destroy this highly dangerous and fortified facility is to hit it from the inside. Follow the missile port grooves to find the three generators deep within the facility. Destroy the generators to access the central heat vent. Once inside, destroy the giant missile in the central silo. An infiltration unit will secure your escape route. Their plan calls for waiting until the generators are offline, and then taking over the sub control room once the blackout hits. Enter this rat's nest with full confidence that the unit will get you out again. It's highly likely that this will be your final mission. Remember, we need heroes after the war too. Make it back in one piece. Dismissed. Well, we need a small, smaller craft, so Suhoi, Megalith. Closing at 
six. That was pretty low. Radar lock. Box two. Al almost hit the heart. Heart take. Almost mid mid air collision. We are going to fly into really tight corridors.
luckily this is quite open. I feel sorry for, for those soldiers because this is ace combat and we usually send airplanes to tight tunnels and not soldiers. Pretty weak uh, wings here, or ta tails rather. Doesn't move. Our rudders n are not, not not really working well. And the last missile is... Is it inside? Slightly slippery controls here. Okay, so let's line up and go back in.
No, it's from the center. Thank you, we are making our escape. <laughs> that got my pulse pumping. Once familiar scent of burning jet fuel has long since faded away. What was once Yellow Squadron's runway is now just a local highway again. I write this letter to you now. I know it must have brought him unexpected joy to have an opponent like you at the end of that meaningless war. At least that's what I want to believe. Only you, the pilot who shot him down, can confirm this. Okay, so he's, he's writing and to so us. I write yep. to you. So this was his memories about the war and the uh, writing to us, the player. So yeah, not really uh, age well. Although, although this is pretty cool, the, the, this screen is pretty cool. So not really age well, but Ace Combats have always had like. Something to say, uh, effort put effort put into the plot, and this was first. And with the, with Days from Combat Three, they didn't sell as much as they would have liked, and it had like anime anime cutscenes, which are expensive to make. So this was like a cut out, uh, cut out, uh, dry dry out, cheaper version to make, and with a strange reel that's a bit bit like Earth, but not like and uh, I like this not my favorite Ace Combat the favorite Ace Combat is still like 5 but I like this and, and it had, had some had some tricky fights for example against the yellow 13 and the nasty uh, game design choices that you really can't kill yellow 13s on any of the startup missions which is like you can waste your ammunition by shooting at them which is not cool especially when when the when the planes do not have as many missiles as with the later games because with the later games you have enough missiles even with the with the startup startup uh, loadout and uh, well the gun gun had ammunition here and it was like machine gun it wasn't really powerful in the later games the, they took out the bullets so only in high, higher difficulty you have a limited amount, amount of bullets and uh, they beefed off the uh, gun gun so yeah I, I can see this being uh, like in very influential by, by the chatter that's going on on the when you are flying and and show the blueprint basically what the ace combat would, would be and well they have faithfully made these games in the same format like five six seven and and well <laughs> let's let's not count the mobile mobile games but any anyway yeah and, and zero as well so basically uh, plot wise uh, the first ace combat games 1, 2 and 3 are like futuristic but they didn't mention Strange Real. They were fiction but they weren't clear on the setting. Uh, so so 
4 is basically the first real Ace Combat game in a sense, sense of setting, being strange real. There have been a like, few odd, odd games like Infinity, which I liked, and that was set on the Earth, which, which was odd, odd choice because it, uh, uh, it featured some, some of the real classic missions. So that was an odd choice, but yeah, with the 7, the uh, developers returned to the Strange Reel and this same continent that we were fighting over in this fo fourth game and yeah, Farbanti was bombed again and that was like the second second, second, uh, second uh, war on, on this continent like something 20-15 years later so yeah Pretty infernal, pretty nice, and if you were playing this as a kid, that must have been like hit, hit like a thousand volts, basically. So yeah, pretty pretty cool. And uh, any, anyway, uh, good thing we managed to finish this on time, and I think it's changing everything again. So was think I was thinking we had. We had like, let's say, so we had like um, Call of Cthulhu, well, the Call of Cthulhu themed uh, adventure game, Chronicle of Innsmouth, and it's like halfway there. Uh, I haven't ever been good with the point and click games but I still play them so I suppose we are going to continue this it doesn't I think we can go to somewhere like halfway so I'm going to continue this uh, streaming today uh, at least an hour more so now we have a break and in 15 minutes continuing the chronicle of Innsmouth and the uh, horror of the uh, games based on the HP Lovecraft novels. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll uh, see you in like 15 minutes. I need to f uh, check that that actually works, but yeah, sound sound alert. I should it, it should now work. All right. See you.